Right now, the men convicted of burning down the Hereford House restaurant in downtown Kansas City are learning their fate. Amy Hawley's live at the federal courthouse, where today's sentencing actually continues right now. Amy? Well, 15 years, that is what Rod Anderson got. It is the minimum punishment the federal judge could have imposed to, to here today in federal court. And Rod Anderson, a well-known person in this community, he left uh, the courtroom in an orange jumpsuit. He waved goodbye in handcuffs to his friends and family as he left the courtroom here in federal court just a few hours ago. They, of course, very sad, a lot of tears in the courthouse. The 60-year-old will not leave jail until he's 75 years old. He'll be behind bars for arson and mail. Fraud. Back in 2008, prosecutors say he hired two men to torch his downtown Hereford House restaurant, all for greed, greed for insurance money. Prosecutors argued it for a tougher penalty because the restaurant exploded and put a whole lot of people at risk, all for money. Anderson says, though, he is not guilty. He said that in court today, even though he was seen on surveillance video the same night. A former employee we talked to, he cried in court and he said he still believes his former boss is innocent. I know. I just know what kind of a man he is. And what kind of man? What kind of he was a he was a great man, and he was a he was a loving man, and he took care of everybody that worked for him, and and he he supported us always, and I just really, I I, I just totally believe in him. He was really emotional in court today. The two co-conspirators, by the way, are in the federal courthouse behind me. They are receiving their sentences right now. Anderson says he will appeal. Live in downtown Kansas City, Amy Holly, 41 Action News. All right, Amy, thanks. We'll hear more from you at 5 on those other two sentences. Now, here's a look at the timeline of this case. Rodney Anderson conspired with Vincent Pesciotta and Mark Sorrentino to set the fire and collect insurance money. Anderson met with Pesciotta on September 27, 2008, about three weeks before the fire. He reportedly gave him a key to the building and a security alarm code. The indictment says that Pesciotta, Sorrentino, and a third man entered the building on October 19, 2008 and set it on fire. That third man has never been identified or arrested.